top, top down Calling up my digits in my Motorola And I'm speeding like I robbed someone Falling and I'm a whip, whip, yeah Out in flat flats, going hard in the pit, yeah Yeah, I still ball in the pit, yeah Something wrong with the picture Something is wrong with the way And I don't know why Why, why, why Why you need to lie, lie, lie Something is wrong with the way And I don't know why Why, why, why How do you get by, by, by Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you clicked on this video. If you guys do not know me, I am Yaya Elisa. What up, girl? Uh. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to know how to create this gorgeous nude makeup look that I have right now, then keep on watching. Just keep on watching. Just keep on watching. Just keep on watching. Just keep on watching, girl. Ooh. So before we start, I just want to say that I did my eyebrows first, of course, off camera, and I primed my eyelids. And yeah, before we get right started with the makeup, we all have to, what we got to do, guys, say it together. Prep a face. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to use to prep our skin is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe. This is just going to help us moisturize a little bit and just boost our skin. If that makes sense. And don't spray a lot of this because this is really, really moisturizing. That's it. That's all you gotta use. Okay. The next thing I'm going to use is the Scandinavia Primer Spray. And it is oil control. And I do recommend this for people that do have oily skin. I have oily skin around my T-zone. This is just going to help our foundation stick to our, to our face. Because it is a little bit sticky, which I like. And for our pores, since I do have enlarged pores, I am going to be using the Tarte Poreless Mattifying Primer. I am recently just been using this stuff and so far, so good. And just want to apply that on the places where you are most oily. For me, it's mostly right over here. Like I said, around the T-zone area. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Ivory Nude. This is my favorite. My favorite foundations is the Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. So good. It's so good. So good. Just going to dab that all over the face never forget the neck I'm going to be using the tart shape a day a for the concealer and I'm just going to spread that evenly right under the eyes. On, on the bridge of the nose. A little bit over here. And a little bit on that shit. Right, y'all. Y'all gotta be honest with me right now. How do I look? And we're just going to blend that oh, with the beauty blender to set the concealer I'm going to be using the Morphe R13 brush and the RMCA powder and we're just going to
To set the rest of the face, I'm going to be using the same RMCA powder and with the brush, I'm going to be using the Morphe R0. Look at this brush, it's so fluffy! I'm gonna die! It's so big. Yep. Okay, so this is the look that I came up with. So for our transition color, I'm going to be using a Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and E27 by Morphe. This color right here. I'm going to be using Frappe by Makeup Geek. We're going to put that in our crease, but since I have a hooded eye, I'm going to put that a little bit right above my fold. I'm going to go in with Coco Bear, also by Makeup Geek. I'm going to go back to the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to be using this color right here. I'm going to be using this color right here and we're going to do like a half cut crease but not really. Before we apply that to the lid, I'm going to wet my brush with the MAC Face Plus just a little bit so that it could pick up all the shimmers. Wrong way. <laughs> I want to put a little extra glitter to my eyes and for that I'm going to be using Gold Tiara by Bulk Glitters and all my glitters that I have are only from Bulk Glitters because it's really not that expensive and it's really really good and it comes a lot of these so you should check that out. So to do like the floating invisible liner thing going on, I'm going to be using just a normal Q-tip and I'm going to be using also the Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover by Neutrogena. So we're just going to uh, shake that. It dip it like a science project. Carefully white motions very gently For the lower lash line, I'm going to use the NYX liner, pencil liner, and the color Auburn. And then I'm going to be taking Coco Bear 
and we're just going to put that right under that. For our lashes, I'm going to be using the Dodo Lashes in the style Lashes in the style 313. I love their lashes. I purchased a lot and I'm going to be using a lot of them. They big, but they stylish. <laughs> for the lash glue, you can use any lash glue that you prefer to use. But just for today, I'm going to be using just the Revlon lash glue. Yo, my eyes are itching. <laughs> For bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder bronzer in this collection, Bronze Goddess. And I am in the shade Light, and it looks like this. Pretty. And for the brush that I'm going to be using to apply the bronzer, it's going to be the R14. The blush that I'm using is called Dandelion and it is by Benefit Cosmetics. And it looks like this, in case if anyone is wondering. For highlight, I'm going to try to use the e.l.f. highlight um, in the shade Moonlight Pearls. I haven't used this in a long time and I just want to see if it's like good. Again, like I forgot if it was good or bad, so I'm just going to try this out. We we just gonna try it out. Oh. Brush, Mac Fix Plus, Squirt Squirt. That is so pretty. I do have some textures here guys, but it's fine, you know, because my highlight be popping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that ever again in my life. I'm sorry. You know what guys, I am very impressed on this highlighter, like damn, I am glowing, I am glowing. You want to find uh, an expensive highlighter? Bam! Elf, you should try it. For lips, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Paris Collection Exclusive Julienne and in the shade Julianne's nude and this is how it looks like I don't know if they still have this but if I find it somewhere or the do if they do still have it I'll put it in the description box for you guys I don't know if you guys could tell but my lips is not straight you see it's like it should be a little bit like that but not everyone's perfect I don't have perfect lips it's definitely not like straight or anything like that but I mean I'm using the Max Fix Plus to set our face and to take away any powderness that 
we have going on. I drenched my whole face in that. That is it for this makeup look right here. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos because I will be posting more. And follow my social media links so that we can become best homies. Do you know what I'm saying? If you want to see my recent video that I posted, then just click right here if you want to see it. Right there. Right there. No. Yeah. Much peace and love for you guys, and I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Stay tuned. Peace out!